Hey girl, it is Monday. Does anybody, I know I'm not the only one. I know because you guys are my people, so like I know I'm not the only one. But like, okay, here's the thing. This is what I do. Like I wake up, I'm not a morning person. I wake up, roll out of bed, use the bathroom of course, brush my teeth, wash my face, and I need coffee. I am moody, moody patootie. And then, I'm parked by the way. And then um, once I start sipping on my coffee, I get in the car. I put a little bit of Juan Luis Guerra. I, it, it was cute when I was young, but now that I actually understand the words, I kind of vibe it. And then I'm doing one of these at a red light. And I look back and Cam's also doing one. I know people around me think I'm crazy, but that's how I hop myself up every single day in order to face the day. Cause it's it, every day is just, there's a lot. Um, so I am parked at the pediatricians miss cam cam is here hold on hello bubba doo doo do you see a baby on the camera she's not having it i don't think she suspects it i don't think she remembers what a vaccine this is the steering wheel by the way i have to like find a better way to prop this thing up um I don't think she remembers what vaccinations are, but she's due for her one-year-old vaccinations. They were trying to get her vaccinated, like, the week of her birthday, and I was like, we're not doing that. I am not going to traumatize my child and get her vaccinated either before or after her birthday because then, you know, sometimes you you kind of put those two things together and it's like, my birthday, no! I know I'm being dramatic. But yeah, like, I don't want her to ever think, like, oh, my birthday's coming. Crap, I need vaccines. I don't want her to do that. So we're going to vaccinate her today. I don't know what they're giving her, though. I feel like it's like her one-year-old vaccines. I think it's two of them. It's like a liquid and then one shot. I don't know. She's super sensitive. She got bit by a mosquito yesterday and she has like a sore on her thigh. So I'm going to see if they can vaccinate her on the other side of her leg. Hi, mommy. You want to be friendly? Hello. Hi, beautiful. You're so pretty. Can you say hello? What do you mean bye-bye? No, say hi. Can you wave? Say hi. She said bye bye. Also, I had a question. I feel like that didn't work. <laughs> so I was thinking, should I open a second channel specifically for vlogs and then I can vlog like twice a week? Or what do you guys think? Just let me know because I feel like that would be like lifestyle and my life. And I could probably like try on clothes or something, you know, like my shopping, like whenever I buy stuff, like buy stuff, buy stuff, just to buy stuff. Um, I can show you, like I can do my grocery shopping hauls. Um, some people are into that. I'm into that. Like I will sit here and watch people like haul their groceries all day. I don't know why. Um, but it's like more lifey, more, you know. So I was thinking maybe I should open a second channel, keep this one specifically all like beauty. Um, like my unboxings, my reviews, my triumphs, my tutorials, that kind of stuff. And then the other one is Jotty's life. I don't know. You let me know if you... Um, think that's a good idea and then in that case I will make sure that I uh, secure a channel like that and then start vlogging over there because I feel like life is getting easier Cam is being nicer mm -hmm. um, and and I may have uh, or I can make some free time to do some vlogging I guess that's the point that I'm trying to make anyway she's not having it I'm gonna go get her vaccinated um I'll see you inside Cammy, papiami, Cammy, papiami, Cammy. I feel so bad. You're not gonna be smiling in a second, but Cammy, papiami, Cammy, papiami. Hello, hello. Look, this place is cool. The bigger kids and everything. Cammy. Okay, we're done with the appointment. I couldn't even vlog in there. It was pure chaos. Oh my goodness. She's going, weight, height, everything progressing. Mm. I didn't know there was a, like a toddler formula that would give them all the iron they need. That's amazing. Here's the problem. Cam has been a fighter. You guys know if you watch like my baby vlogs, pregnancy vlog situation, Cam has been a fighter. She was in the NICU. I remember telling you guys that when she was born, they were putting this mask on her because she wasn't breathing right. And she slapped the hand of the nurse and the doctor away. We have it on camera. Like she's been a fighter. So here's the thing, she's still a damn fighter. She needed to get three shots. They pricked her finger that's separate to do two different tests and she fought for that and they were like, oh my God, she's pretty strong. He's like, yeah, she's strong, great. Um, 
we managed to get through that. I thought that was the worst that would happen. No, that wasn't the worst that happened. Little Miss Cam decided that she was not gonna allow them to prick her again. And we needed to lay her. So I had her arms and her, you know, her chest, and I'm like, got her pinned down, obviously, because we need to pin her down. And once that needle went in, Cam was able to grab, because they did it on her thigh, one leg came over, kicked the needle uh, out. Like, they managed to get the medicine in, but the needle was in. I literally saw my biggest fear, because my fear is with needles, it's not the pain, it's like, what if that needle gets stuck inside the skin? And in my mind, I watched her foot go over as the needle is in, her foot went like this. And the needle just flew. The nurse was shocked. She apologized. She didn't do anything wrong. And personally, they switched um, staff here recently and the previous staff, I was not about that life. They were sassy, they were rude. I did not like them. So I came here mentally prepared to get sassy because the attitude I got before was not cool. This time around, I asked about the staff, all new staff, sweet people, super kind, very friendly, like bedside manner was where it needed to be. So it's not, it wasn't the staff, it was Cam. I'm sorry, she, mm. so one of the needles literally flew across the room. She kicked it out. Miss Cam Cam is gonna need a lot of love and attention. She's sensitive, she's sore, she's sad, she's angry. She's a little bit of everything. So let me get home because she needs daddy to carry her too. I am back home and she is doing her thing right now. I'm trying to get her down so that my husband can monitor her while I run to Walgreens because I just realized that I, we ran out of Tylenol and I'm shocked. So like I was going through everything like I know I should have some Tylenol. No, I, I ran out of Tylenol. I don't know how I did that. Um, So I am trying to get her down, down, as down as she can for now so that I can run to Walgreens and get her some meds feel like she's gonna need it because that leg is I mean it was bleeding bleeding it's still bleeding it's kind of I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it but it's it's bleeding so I need to go do that my fab fit fun box came in I kind of wanted to film today but I don't see like that being possible so I think I'm gonna take the day like I said to vlog and I am going to clean my house and maybe cook something early which would be great and kind of take it easy for the day and just give her all the undivided attention i didn't know by the way mm, i didn't know there was like a toddler type of formula so the doctor told me that cam shouldn't be drinking as much milk as she does not that she drinks a lot but like her little um like portable sippy cup situation she could drink easily four of those in one day like one in the morning one at night and two kind of spaced out in between before naps and she requires a milk before a nap or she will throw a fit and make my life miserable because you know that's that's what she does and she eats very very well throughout the day so she told me about this i'm gonna put it here on screen it's called neil i'd seen it it's by nestle i've seen that i honestly thought it was like a chocolate milk situation like a hispanic chocolate milk and she's like no 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 that's like a version of formula for toddlers so that they can get the iron that they need and like certain nutrients and i was like well shit, i didn't know that so this is a powder formula for toddlers that it's like a really good milk supplement so you can replace your milk with that and you mix it with water, so it's basically formula. And she says, try to give her one or two a day, no more than that. And if I can replace regular milk, that would be great, because technically after one, she shouldn't really have a regular milk, because it's not giving her everything that she needs. So I think I'm gonna pick that up and see how that goes. Girl, I'm like traumatized by that like vaccine appointment. It's insane. So let me see if I can put her in the crib. One will like keep an eye on her while I go. Did it, she's nappy nappy. Now I have to go. Going into Walgreens now. I'm thinking I might, if I'm smart, get that milk here, just like a smaller one. Cause I don't want to buy a really big one and then she hates it and then I spent the money on it, even though it's not expensive, but I should still see if they have it here and whether or not she likes it. Okay, do you have it here? Where is the baby formula? What is that? I think she might like this. So I'll take this. She doesn't like these. None of that. She hates it. Are these chips? Peanut butter suns. What is that? Not for the whole family. Absolutely not. But I can... Okay. Little treat for the baby.
It was right behind me all along. I don't see it. They weren't joking with the shortage for sure. Thank God I don't really need formula. This is so sad to see for real. Like, I'll take this one. Okay, so they didn't have the formula. Well, it's not a formula, but you know, it's like a kind of like a formula for chocolate. Anyway, they didn't have that. So, so there's a supermarket across the street, a Win Dixie. So, guess where I'm going? Not that I have to, but I kind of don't want to go grocery shopping to the end of the week. Like, I'm good that way. So, I feel like I might as well just try that and just get a head start on it and see how that goes. And I am that mom. I know a lot of people may look down on it. I really don't care. I am that mom. I know that she got vaccines. She's gonna go to sleep. She'll take her Tylenol. She'll be brand new later on today and maybe even forget that she got vaccines because she's so little. But I've always been that mom. Like, I feel like crap that I'm supposed to protect you and you had to go get these damn vaccines. And so what do I do? I will go ahead and like buy little treats to see whether or not you like them. But like also just to kind of like tell you that I love you. My little thing here it doesn't hold right we go location number two they better have it here because if they don't i don't know what to do boo they didn't have it i even checked like the chocolate milk section the latino section because I, I don't know if it's a spanish thing i don't know i'm gonna get into it worst case i'll just amazon it and it'll get here like tomorrow or tonight. So we'll see. They didn't have it. I'm gonna go home now. I make it to my house and I freaking drop the bag. Is that not insane? <laughs> and I'm not in frame, so isn't that fun? It, it's pretty, it's pretty hot here in sunny Florida. My husband, I can hear it. He's in a meeting. I wonder if Cam is still sleeping. Eat my coffee. My fat fit fun just got here. I'm not super excited about it, but I'm kind of excited about it. Like I feel like I want to do an unboxing, but I don't feel like I want to do an unboxing. I heated up my coffee and added some more because that's just who I am. She's still sleeping, so I'm like out here. It's nice and green. It is 82 degrees and it's not even 11 o'clock yet, which means it's gonna be pretty warm. It is projected to be close to 90, if not like 91. I think I saw my car say, so I think it's gonna be a pool moment for me. I'm gonna clean my house, do the most, and then pick up Ty. Hopefully, because school's almost over. She only has two weeks of school here in Florida. So um, they stopped giving her homework last week. So if she doesn't have homework, then she can just like dive on into the pool and enjoy the pool today. I'm gonna drink my coffee, enjoy the warmth before it gets super, super hot, and then I retreat to go inside. I look sweaty. I am sweating. It's hot and I don't want to turn on the fans because then I get too comfortable and then I won't do a damn thing today. I'm supposed to be working on laundry, but I am watching the live Johnny Depp trial because that has reeled me in. Oh my God, even rich people have drama, girl. But look who's up and enjoying her little snackies. Say hello. Ooh. Hi, you see a baby? Say hola. Baba. Baba, that's a baby, right? Say baby. Can you wave hi? Say hi like this. Go hi. You're standing up. Go hi. <gasps> hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi to the baby. Yeah. Good girl. Are you enjoying your snacks? Is it yummy? I gave her these. They're peanut butter. Think like Cheetos. Like, you know, the Cheetos, like the puffs. Cheeto puffs, but they don't taste salty. And they don't... You like them, huh? You do. They don't taste salty. Mmm. <gasps> They're peanut butter flavored. I ate two. They don't taste bad. Um, you can have 35 pieces, and that's 150 calories. Obviously, I'm not giving her 35 pieces, but this is going to go a long way. I'm going to put it in a large Ziploc bag, and um, it has zero sugar, which is great. Love that it has zero sugar, but yeah, it literally tastes like peanut butter without any sugar in it, and it's a puff chip thing. It's, it's different. It's different for sure. 
Say hello. Bye. That's a bebe. Oh, don't fall. That is a bebe. I'm sitting on my uh, rug on the floor because that's sometimes what you gotta do when you're gonna play with babies, right? She really wanted like for me to open the waffle thingy, but I'm like, no, I'm not opening them both at once. She's gonna enjoy one snack and then she'll have another snack for later. And that's my laundry basket. We're working on it. While well, the laundry's done, I just have to like put everything away. Hello. <laughs> que linda, mami, que linda. <laughs> you like yourself, huh? Are you pretty? You are pretty, aren't you? Do you want to watch Miss Rachel? You want to watch Miss Rachel? Yeah? Okay, let's put Miss Rachel on the TV, okay? By the way, you see that, and it's like, oh, she's so cute. This is why you can't have cute clothes as a mom, especially when you have a toddler or anything smaller than that. Peanut butter Cheez-Its everywhere, or whatever the hell, puff pastries everywhere. Now I have to vacuum the rug, make sure it's really nicely cleaned. I just put this on this morning, by the way. Mm -mm. No bueno. Right, Cam? No bueno? All right, update. I am working on it. Pretty much all the clothes are put away. We're working on socks and stuff. And if you guys recall, some time ago, I'm going to say about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I took all the socks in my house, threw them out because they had designs and little polka dots and like stripes. I couldn't do it. So everyone socks, literally everything I didn't care what condition they were in, basura. I threw them all out. So I replaced everyone's socks to black ones. Literally the same. That way, no matter what, you would find a pair and it was just easier. But I feel like we're back to square one because like some are thicker, some are slimmer, some are, I don't, I don't even, whoever invented socks. Like I appreciate it because no one likes Cheeto feet, right? So sweaty feet are just not sexy. I appreciate the idea behind socks, but I don't love having to put them together. It is so annoying and I always procrastinate. I'm waiting. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I'm waiting. I'm gonna stall again. Let me show you guys. So my dad didn't know what to get Cam and we were gonna get her like stride right shoes, but technically she doesn't need them because she's been like walking um, without assistance. She takes baby steps literally. Um, so I told him, you know what? She's too big for her playpen. She feels like she's in jail. She needs space and I would love a place for her to kind of put all her toys in. She can practice her walking, still hold on to things. Ty can get in there and play with her. And so I was like, get her a play yard. There are, are bigger versions of this, but I didn't want anything super big to consume all the space in my like living room open space area. Cause y'all know I like open concept. I love, I don't know, the idea of there being so much open space. Oh my God, relax. It's just Miss Rachel playing. Jeez. She like argues with Miss Rachel all the time. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys the play yard. Again, there are bigger ones, but this is like the smallest one that I could find that was still big, that I was like content with the size and did everything that we needed. Hello. Hello. See how big it is? She can walk from this corner to that corner with no problem. She has that toy in there. Um, yeah, and you know what's funny? I try to keep this somewhere near the center and I avoid putting it towards any of the edges because I noticed that she tries to crawl into the tub. Like she puts her leg up to try to get into the tub already. I know she's only one. And then she's already tried to crawl onto this. Thing about it is, is that I told the pediatrician today because the pediatrician was like, is she even trying to walk yet? I was like, on Mother's Day, she took her first steps and she's been walking every single day here and there you know, on her own without holding on to anything. But most of the time she does still kind of grab to stuff. But yeah, so she was like, that's amazing. She's like ahead of the game, that's great. Then she says, well, be ready for going up the stairs. I have a video clip, I'll put it up here. Um, I have it on my phone. So I'll put it up here for you guys to see. My house is like just one floor co like concept, right? One floor plan. My mother-in-law has a two level house, right? Cam has never had to go up the stairs and we don't have stairs here. So I'm sitting here like thinking nothing of it. She was walking, like holding on to the playpen there. She gets to the stairs and I was like, let me see what she's gonna do. I don't think she's gonna do much of anything. She went up the stairs. I had to like have Stephanie. I'm like, Stephanie, keep an eye on her. Let me grab my phone because people won't believe this. I recorded her going up the freaking steps. I'm gonna get you now, Bobby. And then when I told the doctor that, the doctor looked at me and goes, but they're not supposed to start trying to go up the steps until they're like 15 months. I said, I know, I don't get it. But yeah, she um she went up the stairs and I've got video to prove it. Anyway, let me get her out, show her some love. See, I was able to do a little bit, but she's still pretty sensitive, right, mama?
All right, we are back. I don't know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know whether or not you guys can hear the, I was gonna say the microwave. I don't know if you guys can hear the microwave. No, not the microwave. I don't know if you guys can actually hear the, um, the air conditioning, but it is hot as balls out here, man. That's the one thing that I'm just kind of like, I don't like the snow, I don't, I don't like the cold, but I also don't like the heat so much. I like spring and fall weather. That's just my vibe. So Cam is taking a nap, right? Right now, I'm parked. Right, right, right now. I'm going to assume that as long as we are together, she's good, like at skin contact, like skin to skin. I think she's usually like good. That's what I'm noticing. I thought I was, she was gonna be way worse. She was not, but this, she, she did get kind of fussy and whiny and it's that whiny noise. Like, you know when your kid is feeling uncomfortable or has some pain. So I gave her the Tylenol. Let me put this AC up higher. Girl, it is 92 degrees outside. I don't know what to cook. So I took out like some sweet sausage and we'll see what I make with that. I'm tired. And I feel like I haven't accomplished a damn thing. And I have a headache and my eyes hurt really bad. I'm on the car pickup line waiting for Ty to be released. I still look like crap. It's just one of those days. Typically when she gets her vaccines, I never get cute. I don't have time for that. I want to focus on my kids and my house. And that's where vlogging comes into play. Say hello, Ty Ty. I'm trying to continue saying what I was saying. Oh Jesus, okay. Guys, it is pool time. They're already in there. Already in there. Look, watch. I am responsible for the snacks, which I have right here and the drinks. So I am, I need both hands because I need to open the door and close it. You know, all that good stuff. Hi, you guys. Kami. Can you say hello? Hey, girlfriend. What was that? She did it wrong, right? Did oh. she not do it wrong? She did it wrong. <laughs> Cam liked it. Yay, good job, right? Good job. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Cammy, Ammy, Boo Bammy, Fee Fi, your mammy. My babies. <laughs> Dinner is served. Sweet sausage for the win. Thank you, husband. Hey guys, so it's the end of the day for us. Cam is getting ready to go night night. She's having a moment. We just got out of the pool, showered. She had a milky, and she's ready to take it down for the night. Ty is currently in the shower getting herself oh, together. Yeah. Oh. Well, it, it is a wrap for tonight. My girls go to bed by 9. It is 8:30. So, I, I have to make sure they go to bed by night. If not, I don't get, like, a decent night's rest. So, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to start editing in a little bit, and then this should go up tomorrow. I really hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit of my day along with me. I know the quality here is not that great, but I literally, like, I'm in the dark so that Cam can go to sleep. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.